This is part four of modeling the AI bomb for Blender Challenge 6. And uh, I think I'm pretty much done the, the modeling part. And what I usually like to do at this point is to do an ambient occlusion render. And so I'm going to do that. So I'll just quickly show you I've set up. Just over here, I've just got my sampling at 150. I've come down here under film and I've checked off transparent and under color management. Uh, under look, I chose medium contrast and I've chosen uh, 1024 by 1024 through my camera and 75% just to, to show you that. And I turned on to denoising down here. So let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, for lighting, I'm going to try just under the world tab, under color, I'm going to choose the environment texture and open an HDR image and just go for that just to provide general light okay and here render view All right. and then the only other thing I really need to do is select a little bit of the model come over here create a new material so I'm gonna darken this a little bit and you can see that it's applied onto here so I'm just going to select everything select that last control L and link so uh, sometimes that doesn't work like that there we go I'll try that materials so everything will have just this default material I'm just going to call this a o material okay so we will have that on there now in the shading tab all right I'm just going to attach to the principal BSDF input and it's right at the very top there there it is ambient occlusion and to control that I'll add a converter color ramp and it may not actually do anything uh, with that uh, we'll, we'll see okay so I'm just going to look through save now press F12 so there is the first render just to check things out um, doing this helps me make sure that that uh, objects are like on the ground or, or attached to another surface um, and everything look you know looks okay uh, so far so let's just uh, move this around and get some other views of this uh, it's nothing earth-shattering or anything I just like to, to finally start seeing it in in relative 3d or at least in in rendered view okay there's the other end and I'm not seeing anything very obvious at this point I'm hoping that these wing nuts are not too close to the body but maybe you see something that I don't uh, I don't see my thread very well but you know the lighting is not uh, is not perfect and I'm not zoomed in so that's 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 fine with me um, not much else maybe um, I don't know maybe I'll just do one more just just to see what that thread looks like here there it is all right yeah I'm 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 perfectly fine with the thread like this I'm not seeing anything uh, obviously uh, wrong with this so I'm happy um, let's just get it back to another nice area and let's Just try something a little bit different. What, what color would look good? Yeah, anything. All right, I'll do one more and show you, and then we'll uh, leave it at that. Yeah, just a nice, uh, pleasant, pleasant color and look for that thing. All right, so I'm on to doing some materials, textures, whatever. I'll do some of that uh, on my own and uh, create some you know graphics I don't think you want to watch me do that and then we'll see what uh, what of, of the that process I want to share with you as we work towards uh, getting the model done so if anybody else is modeling along uh, creating a weapon for blender challenge 6 I wish you good luck thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you again soon